Well, welcome to Oban Bay. We're uh, currently just trying to uh, fill up with some diesel. We've got Pats down there, who's uh, a bit of a mackerel basher. He loves his mackerel. Um, while we're waiting for the boats over there, the Caledonian uh, McBrien, uh, he's filling up with diesel. Once he leaves, uh, we'll go in and fill up. The wind's not so bad as of yet. I think in about an hour or two it picks up again, but then it's meant to die down a little bit before the big storm tomorrow. That'll be a right off tomorrow. We won't be able to do anything tomorrow. And then hopefully Thursday we can get out. It's Friday we've got to go home, unfortunately. But uh, open bay, everyone. Big rods going. <laughs> what a great girl, and I'll come back in a sec to that because my big rods going. Well, we've tried for one of these for the last sort of 24 hours, I suppose. Finally, got a little grey gurnard. Look how beautiful they are. Absolutely stunning little things. Just going to get my ticket up. I'll put one up later, but there we go. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I'm absolutely chuffed for that. That's ridiculous. Tiny little fish like that can make me can make someone's day. Pretty little thing, aren't they? Got little things here. They kind of walk along the seabed. So they'll sit like that and they'll sort of walk, walk along like that. It's pretty. They're pretty impressive little fish, really. But right, I'm gonna try and get a couple more because they're quite quite good fun. Yes. Well, would you look at that? It's like a bus. You wait all day and you get one. And you get none, and then you have one. And then you've got two at once. <laughs> grey, grey little gurnard. Excellent. Look at that. Pretty little things. Just caught on tiny little speakies and a little bit of fish. Fantastic. We'll get him back. Right, so we are into something. Which is hopefully not going to be a dogfish. It's caught mid water, so I'm hoping it won't be. But. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh my god. What the hell is it? <laughs> I think it's a dogfish, but it's a Dalmatian. A weird, weird fish. That's not a dogfish, is it? Look, it's it not is, got. It, it is. is. I assume it's slightly rich. Is it doggy? Yeah, it, it, it resembles a dogfish. Yeah. It's, just, it's just the most unusual dogfish pattern I've ever seen. Yeah, there you go. Like, basically, like a Dalmatian. Um, yeah, weird, weird thing. Right, another half decent fish on. Don't think it's a dogfish. If it is, it's a big one. But it feels heavier. I don't think it's very big. I think it just felt a bit bigger at the beginning. Lee assumed it was another one. I said, no, I think this is better than a doggy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice spur dog. It's probably about, I don't know, seven or eight pounds, something like that. Yeah, nice one. I'm going to get a nice photo of him. And uh, yeah, getting back, but it's not making any lunges. But just put the camera on because uh, we've actually got a better fish on here on the feathers. Um, it might be a doggy, but I don't think uh, it is a dogfish. It's because it's all tangled coming backwards, is why it's looking like that. And it's on and a, and a grey gurnard. We've got look at that a dogfish and a, I'm pro now. All right, here we go. Dogfish. And a grey girder for anyone who doesn't believe we've been having them. There we go, we've had three now. Nice little girders. Cheers, bud. Can't wait. That looks a little mic for a sabiki's down. And uh, we've got poor cod, whiting, and uh, codling this time. Tiny little thing. Put that one back. Fetch, go away from the box. Move. Yeah, a bit of white in. A bit of white in. A couple of bites in the uh, speakies. I wonder if it'll be a poor cod, a whiting, and something else. Yeah, we'll see. There's something on there. Probably a two or three fish on there, I'd imagine. <laughs> we have a whiting and a whiting. <laughs> really, I'm after a herring or a haddock on this rig, but most likely uh, not going to happen. But if they're out there, at least we're trying. There we go. There we go. That's a better fish. Oh, has he come up? Oh, he's come 
off. No, no, he's still there. He's still there. Here we go. These are size, uh, I think size four hooks, or maybe even smaller. They're carp fishing hooks. We've got a spur dog on. Um, they've got teeth, they will bite through mono, no, no problem. So we've got to be a bit careful. Hopefully it's just hooked in the mouth. Fingers crossed. Maybe it won't be a spur, but I think it is. It's had a few diving runs. Dogfish. Yeah, world's biggest dogfish. Slow coming up, I wonder it could be alright. What do you think, Pat? What do you think? Oh, I this is going to be a four pack bay. Spur dog, isn't it? Spur dog, as expected. There you go, just a little, little spur dog, only about two or three pounds. There we are. Just a big one earlier, so that was nice. Get him back. Alright, leads into probably a spur dog. Most definitely a spur dog, I think. What do you want, Patch? What do you want, boy? There we go, there's a half decent spur dog. Not uh, not massive, but nice to be catching that in November. On a rather blustery, cooler day. Well done, bud. There you go, little, little grey gurnard. Tiny, tiny little thing. It's about the size of my middle finger. Absolutely minuscule, very, very pretty fish. Excellent to see. So we've got a spur dog uh, on the end having a little go. Every time we pick him up though, we're bouncing him off. So I'm just gonna let him try and hook himself, but I might be able to see it arch over in a minute. So I'll give you, I'll give you a little time on it. Now we're in. Now we're in. Swim up in the water, didn't they? And then you've oh, has he come off? Oh, you come off. I can see him. He's just see if I can. He's he got off just as it's. Oh, damn it. Oh, there we go. Oh, he bumped off again. No, last fish of the day. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's get her in this time. Yeah, oh, Jesus, that nearly took the rod in. Keep that pressure on. That was a good bite, that was. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, that's a bad one. Ooh, thank you very much, bud. We'll play. That's a good, perfect position. <laughs> Last third dog of the day. We're about to pack up. Rod goes bending over, nearly, nearly takes it in. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Get a nice photo of him, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll get back to the boat. Uh, have a nice windy night tonight and tomorrow. Right, well, we're just uh, just packing away now. Uh, we're gonna go and head back to base. 
a good little session today, really. We've had, I've had two spur dogs. I think we've lost one. Oh, I've had three. I think I've had two. But two landed, lost, lost one or two. Um, Lee's had, I think, two. Adam had one. So, yeah, it's been quite good. And I have a million poor pods. Some great gurners. Little cod. Pouting. And white. So, it's been a good little day. He loves his fish and uh, there's one on the deck, so he's, <laughs> he wants you on to it, bless him. Lovely spotted pollock just caught at dusk, beautiful. 